All right, guys, we're here in the game cave, and I am here to show you the Nintendo Switch and a little bit of the unboxing and stuff as far as what I have. Uh, I'm hoping that this video will basically show you kind of if you, you know, if you want to decide if it's worth it or not, um, if it's uh, something for you or if you think that you should hold off. Uh, I'll give you basically my my first like initial uh, impressions of it basically as they came out of the box. I got to work with it a little bit last night, um, just playing some some Zelda, but just doing all the setup and stuff, and uh, going from there. So uh, we'll just kind of go forward here. Um, I have the Pro Controller, uh, which actually was uh, pretty nice. I'll show you that in a second. Um, here is the obvious, just the console itself. Um, this is on the other side. This, I believe, is actually considered the front. So you get the system, the dock, and then I would consider this the normal controller, but the Joy-Cons that come together, um, it's, uh, it's, it's a little weird, but uh, it works for what it is. Um, and then, obviously, uh, Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda, which is uh, pretty cool as well. Um, I already have the game out and in my system, but just something to show you with the games. Like, that's how big they are. They just go into that. And then here's the case and stuff. Uh, sadly, um, for me, in this day and age, uh, with print being dead and with tutorials being in all the games, it doesn't come with a manual. And I thought it would be really cool to have, like, a cool manual for Zelda and stuff and uh that's just that's just me and what I want and unfortunately I didn't uh I didn't get that so but either way uh still really cool so obviously the boxes of everything so when I unpackaged it, it turned out really cool now mine is all set up for because I was messing with it so here we have the Joy-Con um controller that like connects it all together so the two um the two joy con switches basically uh go in here if i could do this with one hand so there's one on one side let's do this real quick I apologize for the camera, but I'll show everything going together. So everything goes together like so. Um, it basically holds like a normal controller. It doesn't feel too bad in your hands. You can, I basically say I put up with it no matter what. Um, it has some really cool options. Your plus and minus, just like how the Wii was. Uh, this is the D-pad here, joystick. This button is actually taking uh, for taking snapshots or screenshots of your any any games that you're playing. The home button, just like on the Wii, takes you to the main menus, and then your normal buttons up here. Another joystick on the side. You also have your top uh, the RZs and R and Ls and stuff like that. And um, these are the buttons here that allow you to remove the um, joy the joy cons from each thing so it also comes with a this is like basically the top buttons for like a single uh, joy con and it goes uh, one way is a plus side and one way is a negative side depending on which side you're using so um, that's basically like your top L and R button when you put it on um, some interesting note, if you will put up with me for a second. Uh, I'm going to separate this. I need two hands. And I'm going to put this on. <laughs> Excuse me. This is how big this thing is together. Now, it's kind of weird. Like, look how big it is, like, in my hand. And if I could, if I wasn't holding a phone, I could pop the other side in. Uh, these things are pretty tiny. But if you're playing just, like, little games, I could see that... Uh, being normal and it goes into one big controller like here so it allows you to have like a two-player thing with two of these which is kind of unique um, but at the same time uh, if you want a better gaming experience and you right off the bat you get this thing uh, together it, it allows for you to uh, 
to play games a lot easier, especially if you got bigger hands and stuff. So uh, I'm gonna move to the Pro Controller. The Pro Controller is really nice. Uh, I would say if it's really nice in your hand, feels really good. It feels like uh, what a Nintendo controller should be. Um, it it it's really smooth in your hands. It feels uh, pretty good. Um, being that my hands are so big, I feel like everything is always small to me. But to be honest, I, I really like how this comes off. And lo and behold, what's super awesome about this is it's just like a you know PS4 and uh, Xbox and stuff that it charges with a USB. Now it's like a proprietary USB. It's not a normal USB port, like not a mini that goes in here. Um, it's a normal USB on one end, cable wise, but on the other end, it's like Nintendo's uh, connection here. So kind of interesting. But once again, your plus and minus buttons, your uh, screen capture button, your home button, D-pad, everything feels real nice. Typical Nintendo, like quality button pressing and joysticks and stuff like that. So they definitely put really good work into the Pro Controller. The Pro Controller itself will set you back 70 bucks. So um, uh, here's the system itself, the dock and the, and the tablet basically. So you get a, a power supply. Um, it comes with an HDMI cable. And I got everything set up here. I'll just show you how it sets up. So there's like a little door. Okay, and everything plugs in. So there's your, uh, if I can read it right. We got the AC adapter on top. USB in the middle, normal USB end on this side. And then the HDMI cable that runs across here. It really is kind of unique. Unique and amazing to have like everything in this dock and then just the tablet. So now the tablet comes out and it feels really nice. You're, you would be surprised when you pick it up. Like honestly, you're kind of surprised when you open the box and how small it is. But at the same time, it's big, especially when you put the Joy-Cons on. So just to kind of show you how everything goes, if I can put an angle in there, but there's like a little spot if I can get the flashlight on there. That's where it hooks up on the bottom. Uh, and it's kind of a really cool um, contraption of how that goes together and hooks into the bottom of here. So uh, let me throw this together and kind of turn it on for you. Give me a minute. So each controller snaps in and place here and here, and that's what I'm going to do when I put the phone down. Bear with me, I apologize. Okay. So here it is all together. Uh, actually fits really nice and big like in your hand and stuff. And I will turn it on here. Okay, so it's already set up. It went. I went through this whole setup process. Uh, I'm gonna go back here. Let's see, home button. Go back, I apologize. Okay, it says do it three times. So this is basically like the main screen. Now I changed my theme. It starts off as white. Everything's white, but I made it black because it's easier to see. And I can pick Zelda and pick my profile as I play. I'll just kind of show you everything starting up here. I don't want to make the video too long. You know, 10 minutes is probably going to be enough. And everything feels excellent uh, in your hands. Um, this is the first time I would be messing with it portably right now, but man, like everything feels built really well. And even, even in your hands, okay, my camera kind of doesn't do this justice right now, 
but it looks like really cool like up close um even though they were talking about some performance issues when you go to portable and uh I don't know. I, I think I think it's pretty neat uh, as well. The only thing I'm looking at for kids wise or whatever, uh, I just got to make sure I make sure that my kids know what to do, how to take care of it, not to mess it up, that sort of thing. Um, but then again, what things do you have that uh, you don't have to do that with? So, um, so really cool. And when it goes back in the dock, it's literally just slides right in boom it connects super easy and if it was connected to my tv boom it just popped right up so uh, i just want to thank you again for taking a peek at the nintendo switch with me um i hope that this kind of helps a little out of the box right away i played zelda for a little bit and i thought it was pretty neat but i didn't i just barely scratched the surface so once again, that's the Nintendo Switch here in the Game Cave with a quick little review. Thank you for your time, and I hope this finds you well. You guys have a great day, and good luck finding your own.